All right, so I just failed my test, but let's see if we fail our Grand Arena. Uh, we have Brandon as an enemy. Such a creative name. I'm sure his real life name is not Brandon. As you can see, I auto placed from last week, which was an auto place from the week before, which is a terrible defense because I just want to throw it up so I get some streams out. Uh, didn't bother going against Geos. It, just from the leadership, it looks like he placed everything on defense. So, we failed the test, but let's see if we can ace the Grand Arena. Alright, so I think he just ran out. I think he maybe he auto-placed. Please tell me he didn't actually auto-place. Okay. So he placed his best teams and uh, couldn't get through me on the other end. Alright, so this shouldn't be too unbearable. Probably should have saved. I'm probably going to use Darth Revan against this team and then get ships win and then fiddle around down here probably should use Darth Revan to counter uh, Padme but you know it all's well that ends well am I right <sighs> all right so let's just Darth Revan this right off the bat should I use Sith Empire Trooper I'm just gonna throw him in there for memes we should have this GAC in the bag except for the fact that you know I choke everything um, since I've noticed my watch time has gone down quite significantly, if you've actually watched the first minute and a half of my video, um, leave me a comment where the first word letter of the first word starts with a vowel, it's six letters long, and it ends with an upside down exclamation point. Do that for me. Unless you're scared. Coward. Oh! That was brutal. Absolutely brutal. Alright, what do I want to use against this? Should I... You guys always like CLS against Bounty Hunters. My CLS would obviously win. My Bounty Hunters would probably obviously win. Should I secure the Dubaruski right here? Should I, should I just secure the Dubaruski? I could use Jedi. I don't know, but they're... Hmm. We're gonna play this like a normal Grand Arena, I guess. Normally I do these live, but you know, it's school, so everyone's in class, and I'm in class, and I just had a test, so I'm like, eh. All right, Padme mirror match, question mark? Or we could use a Sith team with Treya. Do I wanna use Treya's leadership? You know what, I'm gonna meme around here. I know Treya does counter Padme when you're comparable in terms of GP. I passed Empire a long time ago. So we're going to just throw together some teams here. We're, we're using up too many squads because normally Darth Vader uses on a solo, but I just want to see if this will work. If I can get an ability block. Of course I didn't get an ability block. This is a big ability block. This is also a big ability block, believe it or not. Okay. Not so much of a big ability block. And this ability block doesn't matter. Alright. A stun over on Treya is actually the opposite of what I wanted. Okay, this is a big fracture. I needed Treya to not be stunned. I needed Treya to not be stunned so that I could isolate Padme. Uh, let's get some cooldowns reduced. It's actually ability block because he's due for an AOE. Come on, Treya. Yeah, yeah, you got your buffs. I get it, I get it. All right, boom. He's got protection up, so it won't, oh, but you know what? Darth Vader autos against Jedi, which is nice. Okay. Let's keep it going. You know what, we're doing good here, you know? Big brain counters. He's got a big AOE. Yeah, we get it, we get it, we get it. Come on, Nihilus. Oh, it's absolutely tragic that that taunt is up. Oh, boys, I just got absolutely bazooka'd. I'm going to have to do this. He's going to get a big AoE. Oh, absolutely tragic. All right, I have one shot. Do not miss your chance. 
No, she got the extra turn because I went below. I had one shot. <sighs> if I if he didn't get that stupid extra turn, Padme, I could have had the culling blade to kill Anakin. All right, we lost. So much went wrong there. So much went wrong there, and I used too many teams. All right, we're coming back to that. Um, let's do this. What do we want to use against this guy over here? Let's just pop schlock and rock. You guys always want me to use my CLS against bounty hunters, but I never want to do it. But with C-3PO, it should be fine if we can. I know you guys are like stun cad bane, but killing these uh, tertiary guys over here is actually uh, very important to my mental health. Come on, exposes. Okay. Counterattacks. Don't give him turn meter. Let's get a stun so it doesn't execute. There we go. All right, so we got through that top side. So you placed, ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I swear to God, I didn't see the little shot. I thought it was, <laughs> I thought he placed the negotiator. I was like, no, I have to actually kill that Padme now. There's no way, boys. <laughs> Houndstooth solo for the win. This could win me the GAC with the Houndstooth solo. goodness what was he thinking was he just praying that I couldn't get through that Jedi Knight Revan team what? oh guys dangerous screaming in the background I think she's having a puppy play date oh my goodness I can't believe we just got 72 banners <laughs> oh my god did we win Oh, we still got to clear one more. Or do we have to clear more than one? We have to actually get to the zone. It's not good. Um, let me really quickly do this. We should be good. If Jedi Knight Revan plus my Padme team, we should be in good standing to take out their Padme. Let's get this taunt up. Especially if we can get 60 banners here. Because <clears throat> we're not going to have a lot for the back wall if there's anything like of note back there. Uh, let's just pop this. Pop a chalky milk. I lost any car sucker. Pop a chalky milk. Alright. Let's get closer to contract. I know technically Doc has got the highest health pool, so killing like a Saj or Spirit would be easier, but. Yeah, she's got that contract, and plus they're so weak anyway that... Ooh, two stuns actually is not a good thing for me. That's a big execute. That's probably going to kill Mando. Not quite. Alright. Um, this is going to have to save Mando's life, if I'm being honest. Um, this, plus an execute. Plus, please land a stun. Um, let's pop this. I'm going to try to recover by just endlessly going after zombie until I can get all of my stuff back. Alright, I should be good. Should be full banners. A nice 60, okay. Alright, 
where are we in terms of we have to beat this team so they're gonna have right off the bat they're gonna have their aoe they're gonna have their heal which means these are basically all full health characters how are we going to cheese this padme team obviously jedi knight revan is my best bet <coughs> um Maybe if I go in with my Padme team and just stick to basics. Or I could mark Anakin and just basic him to death. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to mark Anakin and just basic him to death. And then once he's out, we should be totally fine. So he's going to get a bunch of protection up. But if we can just do single attacks... I mean, they're going to have massive stacks of courage, but I'm actually going to save that. Basic. Stun, maybe? Okay, this could be a big ability block over on him. Do this. I know I could throw up some some of that stuff, but basic. Ah, oh, okay. So good that we had the buff immunity. We can maybe basic him to death. Um... Basic. Okay, so we're sh we should be good here. Steal all this stuff. <clears throat> all right. I'm actually gonna go after C3PO just to get him out because he's annoying. I know this is a very small brain strat right here, but hear me out. Since Anakin's dead, we don't have to worry too much about damage anymore. So now we can go the long road to recovery. So I'm actually gonna call this in. It's gonna give him protection up, obviously, but. In one turn, we'll be able to pass those buffs around. Big hit over here. All right, so we got some buffs back. Now we just got to recover banners. Because I don't know what he placed on his back wall, and I don't have, like, well, I have Padme, so actually, never mind. I'm stupid. I obviously do have a team left for the back wall, but <coughs> we can still try to get banners, you know. All right, let's pop this Chalky Milk. She's stunned, which is surprising. All right, let's just pop this. All right, now we can call in assists. Probably shouldn't have done that. It's an extra attack. If I can stun her, maybe save. Okay, who's got, who's close? You're close and you won't do too much damage. I'll do that. Now maybe a mass assist. No, uh, I can probably get a banner back over here. So 59, or well, 39, I guess, because I missed the first battle. All right. All right, let me know. G give me a pog in the comment section if uh uh what the heck? All right, I guess we're getting some solos, a little bonus solo action. Um Cup solo? I probably should have cup soloed this team. I probably could have cup soloed that team. Um, Padme plus cup here. Padme plus cup. Let's do it. Very surprising ending over here. Okay, let's get some protection up. Let's throw an AoE. Okay. Interesting. He's going to revive, which is not good, but stun! Nobody's out of there. <coughs> Alright, let's kill him. This is... Have you guys ever seen a GAC like this? What is going on? All right. All right, ready for this, boys? Ah, oh, she's just so much faster. She took another turn before Cup could get the courage. 
All right, well, despite dropping a battle that was still a very decisively strong... Like, this is still a decent score. I could have had probably 1760 if I didn't drop this first battle. Wow, guys, that was actually kind of crazy. Um, yeah, thanks for watching the video. I love you guys. Uh, consider liking, and I'll see you later.